hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and my in this video as well so guys as you can see on this screen uh, i'm just gonna talk about uh, what are the uh, you know uh, types of uh, certification authority in server 2008 and 2012 so i'm just talking about 2012 r2 and uh, what is standalone and enterprise certificate authority here so guys if you feel this video is informative please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and this is my fifth video on this topic certification uh, i mean this active directory certificate service and before i'm just uh, i mean before deploying that active directory certificate on server 2012 i'm talking about the basic uh, concepts you should be able to you know deal with all the basic concepts then only it is good to go for the uh, deployment and all are very important to understand that that is why i'm just trying to make it uh, yeah, a couple of videos and upload so don't forget to subscribe channel and if you subscribe then you will uh, know all those and i mean you can subscribe all those videos from there so you just don't forget to click on this bell also uh, so that you can get all the updates here or uh, all the notifications and uh, you can go through and there are some around 300 videos i have uploaded 300 and plus and different different technologies so guys here uh, basically there are two types of uh, certificate authority nothing more than that one is itself uh, standalone here and second one is inter enterprise so there is a difference and there is a separate uh, usage scenario for both of them so characteristics if we look uh, around so very first one it is typical use okay if we talk about typical use so standalone a standalone certificate authority is a typically used for offline certificate authorities okay it is offline but it can be used for certificate authority that is consistently available on the network so it is a standalone basically an offline certificate authority and if we talk about enterprise so it is enterprise typically used to issue certificate to users and computers and services and it is not typically used as offline certificate authority so it is a kind of online certificate authority okay and i will show you how to install instant alone as well as enterprise in coming videos next one dependency dependencies active directory so active directory uh, dependencies like standalone does not depend on active directory domain service and can be deployed in non active directory environment as well but if you talk about this enterprise act an enterprise active directory requires a uh, certificate authority requires active directory domain service which can be used con uh, can be used as configuration and registration database it also provides publication points for certificate issued to users and computers okay this is a dependency now next one certificate request methods so user can request certificate from stand alone certificate authority by using the web enrollment pages okay but here in enterprise request certificate from web enrollment page and certificates request wizard certificate mmc snap in and certificate can also be requested and issued automatically through group policy by using auto enrollment so i will show you how does it work how to configure now next uh, uh, character stick is like certificate issuance method what are the methods so all request must be manually approved by certificate administrator so who is managing that server he has to approve all the uh, request now if we talk about enterprise certificate authority so requests requests are automatically issued and denied uh, based on the templates so we will have to configure couple of templates so they will take care of whether it has to deny or it has to allow okay and uh, templates dictionaries access control list basically dictionary so it defines what kind of permission we are giving basically that is known as decal so guys in this video this much information only basic difference where we can use what are the scenario to use a stand alone and enterprise uh, certificate authority so please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video subscribe and uh, if you subscribe you will get all the updates coming updates and in next video i will be talking about what uh, uh, what is what is cross certification hierarchy and what are the scenario in which certificate authority hierarchy in a certificate okay environment so this is also you need to understand how you can configure it and how you can deploy 
and that uh, after that I will be talking about uh, how to deploy it what are the prerequisites for uh, root certificate authority and when root certificate authority should be used and considerations couple of considerations we need to take care and then deploy root certificate authority so for that you will have to wait for couple of more videos two or three videos and uh, in this video this much information only guys till then bye bye